Throughout the years, we have heard handful of people surviving in the vastness of oceans without any means of help and total isolation in small-sized boats. These kind of incidents and experiences have taught us how unbelievably massive and unforgiving the oceans are. But here is the case. Imagine you are sailing in a boat on the ocean, but your boat is incapable of turning neither left nor right. You have this map with you. What will be the longest straight line pass you could take without hitting a land? First and foremost, the map. This is Mercator projection map, and it's confusing and highly deceptive. For example, Greenland is much smaller than it is on the map. On the map, it's one third and almost half size of Africa. But in reality, Africa can contain 14 Greenlands on its territory. Also, on this map, Alaska is larger than Mexico, and China is smaller than Greenland. But in reality, China is four times bigger than Greenland, and Mexico is larger than Alaska. This flat map and its distortion was created in 1596 to help sailors navigate the world and now in 21st century it's arousing huge misunderstanding. If we look at the map and try to figure out what is the longest straight line pass without hitting a land, that will be confusing. According to this map, longest straight line pass is probably from Alaska to south of Chile across Pacific Ocean or from Argentina to Australia through Atlantic and Indian Oceans. But all the speculations about the sizes and distances and pass lines with this map is entirely wrong. As a matter of fact, this is the longest straight line pass one can sail without hitting a land. And it starts from Pakistan to Russia's Kamchatka Peninsula. Well, you can say this is not a straight line. It starts from Pakistan and goes in between Madagascar and African continent, further between South America and Antarctica and going up to the Northwest Russia. Well, as a matter of hundreds of facts, and thousands year old scientific method tells us that Earth is not flat. So flat map here is useless. Earth is spherical and when pass in straight line without hitting a land is projected in actual spherical globe, it's indeed a pass from Pakistan to Russia. It covers about 32,090 kilometers, just about 8,000 kilometers short than Earth's circumference. This kind of pass is called a great circle. You plot a great circle in between two points on a sphere by imagining the plane that will slice through between both points and the center of the sphere. The intersection of that plane and the Earth is called a great circle. They are incredibly useful tools in navigation because they give the shortest distance between two points. Americans traveling to Europe are often surprised to find that they are going by the way of Canada and Iceland. But outward bulge of the Earth if you had due east means that northerly trip is actually a shortcut. It's personally amazing to me that this particular great circle exists because it goes around more than 32,000 kilometers without hitting a land. That's about 80% of the way around the world. If you want to become the first man to sail the longest straight line pass on the ocean, I do recommend starting in in Kamchatka Krai of Russia to take advantage of favorable west to east winds. Straight up, how you have to thread a needle between Tierra del Fuego and Antarctica, further between Africa and Madagascar. Over there, you will have to be careful and you will have to watch out for sassy pirates with haunted eyes and AK-47s. Well, they might want to be the captain now.